for me, the first thing that absolutely makes sense is mainly what we're here for, which is avoiding species extinctions, preserving and rebuilding the natural economy, the natural ecology, because ultimately that's what everything else is based in, right? That's the only economic system that's ever worked, nature. Capitalism, communism, they were just playing with the surplus that that creates. So rebuilding the nature, and secondly, learning how to rely on each other again instead of money. Like this monetary system is going to fall apart one way or another. Either it keeps growing until it destroys the whole economy, or it doesn't keep growing and it collapses. So as we learn more and more to find our security, not in our house or our pension, but in our relationships, in our friendships, in our solidarity, then yeah, that creates solutions and possibilities. So for me, those are the two things, like defend and rebuild nature and learn how to rely on each other again instead of money. And can you just tell us a little bit, for those who don't know, what the Transition Town movement is and what it works on yeah. and how a website or something can link up? So yeah, Transition Towns, uh, I think it's transitionnetwork.org, but certainly search on Transition Network and you'll find it. And that's local communities around the world in 50 countries now who are basically doing what I've just described. So wide range of things, it's a very diverse movement. Some places are developing uh, local food projects, growing food maybe on their, on their roundabouts, on their streets. Some places are <laughs> developing massive community renewable energy projects. Um, but it's really, it's not so much about campaigning like this is. Um, as uh, Rob, who founded it, says, it tries to be more like a party than a protest march. Um, and so in many ways what it's about is people getting together with their local community and acting on a scale where it makes sense. Because the two things we're always told to do about changing the world are lobby your politicians and protest or make personal lifestyle changes. And they're both really depressing actually. Because the politicians ignore you when you lobby them and the lifestyle changes feel yep. like a drop in the ocean. Yep. Right. So one is too small scale and one is too big to make a change. So what Transition is about is operating at a scale which is small enough where your contribution makes a difference, where you can play a real part in it, but big enough where it actually means something, where you're actually seeing things change in your community, in your life. Uh, it's been going for about um, about 12 years now. Um, as I say, in 50 countries around the world, tens of thousands. 50, 50 countries around countries the world, around there the are world. transition town groups. Yep. See if there's a transition town group near you. It's a big solution. Get together with other people in your town or area, create a transition group and if you go for to the transition. If you go to the Transition Network website, on the front page, there's a big button, Transition Near Me. And it's a map of the world. You can put in your postcode or whatever, find your nearest community, get involved, or start one. <laughs>